Hey, what's going on guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Welcome back to yet another live stream. In this video, we're going to take a look at video footage that's been shared with me recently, some very recently, of some of the most unusual things I think I've ever seen on camera. Um, you're going to see two examples in this video of what look like humanoid creatures caught on camera. We're going to take a look at this energetic, uh, what looks like some sort of a, a paranormal orb that was also picked up on camera. Video footage sent in by, by Allison out of uh, Seven Hills, Ohio. And this is a new analysis of this video footage of this energy that's, that's swarming this room. Not necessarily swarming, it's not going very fast. Um, but it does make the rounds in the room. And I can show you guys an example that this is not something on the lens. This is an indoor camera, by the way. And the orb is not some sort of a, uh, you know, cobweb type of anomaly on the front of the camera. This thing's moving around the, the room under its own power. It's actually reflecting light off of the couch, the, the footstool here, quite possibly a table in the room. We're going to come back and, and take a look at that here in just a moment. A fresh analysis by request, by the way, of the, the video footage sent in by Allison. But first, I want to get right to it, guys. This is some of the most incredible footage I've ever received in this uh this realm, the paranormal realm. And I'm, I'm telling you, just when you think you've seen it all, then along comes something else. And you know, it, it, it makes you wonder, are these things watching us or, or are they kind of lurking around all the time and we just don't know it? I've got two examples here. Um, these are very good examples sent in by, by ordinary people that just happen to run across an extraordinary situation and here we go and I will post the the link to both of these original full-length videos down below in the description box at the end of this live stream uh, the first video was sent in by Cameron out of Sydney Australia and this is out in the the, the country in a remote part of, of Sydney out in the forest and this is one of those motion-activated uh, outdoor cameras that are typically used by, by hunters that may be hunting one variety of thing or another. Um, and this was a camera that's attached to a tree that detected something very mysterious in the woods near Sydney, Australia. Check this out. I mean, this is straight up eerie. Watch over here in the lower left-hand corner of this video footage. Uh, once again, sent in by Cameron, and you can tell it's in the middle of the night, pitch dark, and this is out in a very dark forest. And I'm also gonna show you an example of cobwebs on a camera lens that, that will rule out any potential cobweb on a camera lens when we go to the video out of Ohio. But pay attention over here on the, the left-hand side of the screen. You're about to see something that is absolutely mind-boggling. What looks like, and you can't make this stuff up, like I said, just when you think you've seen it all, this comes along right here. Check it out. You're gonna see what looks like a head and not a, the head of an animal. Looks like a small humanoid. There you go. Apparently, seems to have activated the camera. And then once it did, it froze, trying to remain unnoticed over there on the left-hand side of the, the camera field of view. You can see it in front of a tree. I do some uh, enhancement work to this video footage. It's actually very good quality. Um, I zoom in and um, I think this is at least 1080p. It was a very good quality video to work with. It, it wasn't super overly pixelated, even for being in the middle of the night, out in the middle of a dark forest. Unbelievable. Check this out. I'm gonna zoom in, I'm going to adjust the lighting. Um, what little color there was to work with, there wasn't much. And you're going to see what looks like a large oversized head 
with eyes, uh, facial features, standing in front of a tree, and you can see what looks like a shadow on the tree right there. Uh, it, it gets even better. Just, just stick with me here. You're going to see a shadow on this tree apparently being made by a physical creature that's standing over there. I mean, this is straight up eerie. Check this out. See the eyes? You know how the like cats and stuff, their eyes will reflect in a, a, a camera or a video? Okay, I want to show you something real quick. You're going to see two points of light right here there, and there. One and two. Those two points of light are being caused by a, uh, a silk web, like a spider web. And for some reason, and I've seen this multiple times, they'll, they'll remain stationary in front of the camera lens. And part of that, that silky web will glow. You can kind of see it bouncing around in, in the little bit of a breeze that's going on there. That is uh, caused by a spider web. Actually, two right there, probably. Now you're going to see, watch down here in the lower left-hand corner, you can see that creature trying to stay out of the field of view, almost like it realizes that it activated this camera and it almost realizes it's being recorded. Notice the, the large oversized head. There's the two eyes that we typically see when a, 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 any type of eyes are filmed at night in a nighttime setting. And notice the shadowing on the bark of a tree. That's a, a pretty good sized tree right there behind that creature's head. And the torso seemed to be obstructed by maybe leaves and some sort of, of, of foliage there in the, the forest near Sydney, Australia. Notice it moved. Did you see it move to the, the left a little bit? Look at its eyes. Notice the darkness right there on the, on the tree. That is some sort of a shadow. That's how I'm interpreting that. That's being caused by the oversized head. Okay, here's probably the best view I managed to pull forward. I tried several techniques to, to get as much as I could of this incredible video. Once again, captured uh, in Sydney, Australia, out in the country, obviously. This is in the middle of a, of a timber. Motion activated outdoor camera in, in the woods used by hunters. There it is right there. Get a load of that. Notice the dark right there. See the, the shadowing again. That tells you there's something physical over there. That's why I, I emphasize that because that, that's an indication that there is indeed something physical over there or there was at the time this camera was recording. There's another good view of what looks like eyes and oversized head. Are you serious? Yes, that's real footage out of uh, Sydney, Australia. Sent in by Cameron. There was another good view of it right there. Clearly, some sort of head. That's not a leaf or a, a tree branch. And you can tell this is good quality video. It's at least 1080p. Those right there are the, the, the reflections from a strand, a web strand, from a cobweb, believe it or not. They do create those little bitty what look like balls of light in uh, nighttime cameras or in nighttime footage. Now I'm going to take you guys over to Eden Bridge United Kingdom. And I want to give you the backstory on this video. Uh, it was sent in by Mike C. And they were camping at a campground over in Edenbridge, Kent, United Kingdom. When in the middle of the night, around 2-3 o'clock in the morning, they hear a ruckus outside of their tent. They don't know what's going on. It was loud enough to wake them up. So they go outside and it's very, very dark, obviously. And they use the, the flashlight, the, actually the flash, on their smartphone as a flashlight. And they're just kind of panning the, the light around their campground, looking for anything that could be making noise. And at the time, they didn't see anything. It was when they went outside the tent, it got kind of quiet. But whatever was making noise, it was loud enough to wake them up out of a sound sleep. So they started taking pictures. They had the, the flash turned on with their smartphone device, just kind of pointing it, point, pointing it in random directions, taking pictures. This showed up in one of the pictures right above their tent. No wonder it woke them up. Check that out. Looks like a humanoid figure. You can't make this stuff up right there. Up in the tree, probably what? 
15 feet up, maybe 12 feet up in that, that tree. And those are two fairly large branches right there capable of, of holding, you know, excessive weight. And it looks to be pretty good size, whatever it was. And this too has what appear to be eyes. You can tell the, the camera was indeed moving, just like they said. They were just kind of panning it around with the, the flash on as a, as a flashlight. And that caused that type of streaking right there. But the body of this thing showed up. They didn't see it. They actually didn't see that until they reviewed the, the photos later on the next day. They were just looking for, they, they, they didn't know what it was, a, a raccoon. They, they, they had no clue, but they, they said it was pretty loud. Again, loud enough to create curiosity. And there's what was up in the tree that they didn't see, like it was watching them. And again, you can see, I don't get these types of videos very often. I've probably got, oh my goodness, you could probably count on one hand how many I've got over the years. Paranormal activity is real. We live in a spiritual world. We're surrounded by all kinds of, of various forms of energy like we're going to take a look at here in just a moment. But this type of energy just happens to be human-shaped form. I mean, look at that thing. You cannot make this stuff up, man. That's out of the United Kingdom. They were woken up again in the middle of the night, and that thing was lurking in a tree above their campground, and their tent was right over here in this area. Again, they did not see that. It just showed up in the the photo. That's the backstory to that photo and uh, video segment, once again, out of the United Kingdom. Just absolutely incredible. And again, I don't get this type of footage very often, but it is real. I, I believe that that we are, we're, we're constantly surrounded by energy in, in, in various forms. We live in a spiritual world. And here's an example of that right here, Seven Hills, Ohio. This video was sent in by Allison, uh, by Rascal Flats Drummer. This showed up on an indoor camera. So as I was uh, referring to in the, the, the video from Sydney, Australia, you saw the two dots that were kind of attached. To, well, they were attached to the camera and they were kind of bouncing around in the wind. This is not bouncing around in the wind. This is a form of energy moving around the room. You're going to see the light reflecting off of that table right there. You can see it reflecting off of the, the arm of the couch. Right there, it just reflects, see it reflecting off of the table? Are you serious right now? Are you serious? This just showed up on camera in the middle of the night, wandering around the room. That is pure energy. That is not a cobweb. Number one, it wouldn't be moving because there's no activity in the room. And it, it this is just kind of moving around like it's just kind of inspecting things, you know? If it were uh, uh, associated with some sort of a, a web, uh, a piece of like silky web, it would be maintaining the, the same general location. It wouldn't be just kind of moving around under its own power. No, that is truly a very bizarre video. And again, this video, like the video out of Sydney, Australia, more than likely was motion um, activated by this thing right here. Notice right here, let me pause it real quick. Notice the reflection over here on this side. Look. You can see the reflection off of the armrest, or that could be the cushion of the couch. And then this is a couch or a chair over here. This right here looks like some sort of a table. If you pay attention real close, right there you can clearly see what looks like light reflecting off of the, the furniture, the tables in the room. Here it kind of wanders back to the left again unbelievable these are types of videos that you just don't see very often then it kind of goes over towards the middle of the room and then disappears this is in fast forward in a uh, obviously this is a modified format and you can see the reflections again I put it in fast forward just to show what it looked like in fast forward that this was moving under its own power it wasn't being influenced by by wind this is inside um, you can tell it's just kind of wandering around inspecting things and then it darted towards the the middle of the room and disappeared this is yet another modified version and again in this even in this format you can see the 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 re reflectivity off of that armrest right there even in this format this is simply a inverted format light is dark dark is light 
That is a ball of, of, of pure energy. I don't know how else to describe it. It's not anything on the camera. There is no way. That is moving under its own power. That's not being influenced by any type of wind or anything like that. Kind of stopped right there. This is an original speed. Hovers around this area here. And it's pretty good size. I mean, I don't know exactly how big there. It kind of jumped up and down. Like it felt the, the armrest of that couch. And it went up over the couch. Goes over out of the field of view just temporarily. And then it will come back into the field of view. And then move across the center of the room. I mean... And it had enough horsepower to activate the camera. So that told you that it had either, it, obviously you can tell uh, in the other formats, it was pretty bright. But it may have had some sort of, of, of physical properties to it. I don't know. It, but it, it had enough, uh, like I said, horsepower to activate the camera. Right there you can see the reflection. Even though it's dark, that represents light. That's what you see here. Light is dark and dark is light. And you can see the darkness on that armrest right there. That's telling you that it's got its own light source. It's got its own power. It's not a reflection. That is an example, uh, a good example of a energetic orb moving around a room. Here's modified fast forward. And this is a different format, by the way, altogether. This is, I have it uh, basically the opposite of what it was before. I have it kind of super juiced here. A little bit oversaturated, but you can see the reflection down here off the furniture in the room. Notice that? It stops right there. just stops. Kind of checking something out right there. Stops again. You can see it reflecting off of this table here once it comes back across the center of the room. Here we go. What we're looking at here are just modified formats. I was trying... There, there you go. See the reflection off the glass and off the, the cushion. These are all just modified formats. This is by request. I had multiple people ask me to, to reanalyze this footage and see if there was anything else. And then it kind of dives across the center of the room and disappears. So there's no way that this was attached to the camera. There's just simply no way. It wouldn't be possible. And this is yet another format. Um, again, I don't get videos like this very often. I could probably count on five fingers how many I've gotten in eight years. Um, but it does happen. It's a part of our our reality. This stuff does go on. And, and from time to time, people encounter things that they just simply cannot explain. And and this was one of those times. And this is a an incredible example of just pure energy moving around this room. Um, and it, it just briefly revealed itself. And th this stuff is around us all the time. It's just that... The human eye can't see it, you know? And just like that, that that creature up in the tree, they didn't see it. It showed up um, on the camera, but they didn't see it up in the tree. So this thing here revealed itself temporarily, and then once it took off across the room, it disappeared again, you know? Like maybe it was always in there, and just for whatever reasons, it revealed itself uh, at this moment in time um, strong enough to activate the camera and took a, a, a an incredible video reflecting, see it reflecting off the, the couch, probably some sort of a, a leather couch that had the, the ability to reflect the light of this, this uh, oblong orb just casually moving around the room. There's nobody in the room, and I believe this too was in the middle of the night when nobody was in the room, obviously. This is a, obviously a different format here. It got it super saturated. I, I put the, the, the light on this heavy. I was trying to pull forward these reflections off of the, the leather couch, the table, and they were pretty easily visible in the original format. Now you can really see the re reflectivity. See the reflectivity right down here? That just That's the giveaway right there. That tells you that that um, was its own light source. It wasn't reflecting light. And besides that, there's no light in the room to reflect anyway. So it had to have been its own light source. Pretty wild. You don't see this stuff very often. And it probably happens more than we know since there's around... I heard a, a stat the other day at any given time, um, basically in any given hour, there's like 45 billion cameras recording nowadays. Um, at, at any given time. So they're bound to, to pick up things like this that we 
25, 30 years ago, you, you wouldn't have been able to catch on camera because most people did not have cameras, you know, uh, to the magnitude that we do today. There are cameras literally everywhere. That's why we've had a, a, a huge increase in uh, UAP, uh, UFO, whatever you want to call them, activity, the, the big increase is because of the, the, the smartphone. Since the conception of the smartphone, um, oh my goodness, there's, there has been a, a thousand fold increase in, in sightings of mysterious objects in the, the day and nighttime sky because people have instant access to a high definition recording device that they're glued to, you know, every day. I mean, mine's sitting right over here to my right. We all have them, um, and they all have pretty good quality cameras. This just happens to be a, an indoor um, security camera, and this here I, I zoomed in uh, really tight. This was pretty good quality camera. It was at least 1080. You don't see a lot of pixelation here. There's a close-up view of, of pure energy floating around this room under its own power, by the way. Uh, just an incredible video by request. And I, I have some still images that I wanted to share with you guys that I worked on just briefly. And here's a couple of photos from the still images that I did a little extra work to these trying to pull forward, you know, anything. I mean, anything that we could see to to make this thing even more unique. And it was pretty much the same. I mean, there wasn't anything super different um, with regard to the, the still images that I took. I did use some different techniques on the uh, these still images. Here you go, up even closer. And you can see what looks like, I don't know, almost you can see a, a static or, or some sort of a, a light haze around this thing in this particular format. See it? I don't know. It looks almost kind of fuzzy. And this is a good quality camera, whatever type of camera it is, a very good quality. This format right here simply tells us that there was a physical object of some sort in this field of view. It's showing us the, the couches, the, the door over here, the, 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 the tables, and then obviously the elephant in the room, not literally, but figuratively, this thing right here. And it's showing us that there was something physical um, right there in the middle of the camera being the, the energetic. that has a unique shape. That's a, a nice oblong shape. It's not like super random and all discombobulated. It's a, a, a very uniform shape. It's almost a, a perfect oval just drifting around the room, once again, under its own power. Incredible video, once again, sent in by Allison out of Seven Hills, Ohio. And uh, that was by request, guys. That was... Um, uh, a, a very good video of something mysterious, um, and we and it's no surprise to me. We live in a a spiritual world. You're looking at the the Soho Lasco C3, looking at the the sun. This is the Earth facing side of the energy that comes from the sun towards the Earth because this spacecraft orbits the sun with the Earth. So nothing going on right now. The sun has actually been pretty quiet. Uh, we got the comet that's coming in. Here's a, a view in case you guys haven't seen what it looks like. This is a um, video made by Michael Jager from the 5th a couple days ago. You can tell the, the comet's getting bigger. The tail seems to be getting longer and it's reacting to the solar wind from the sun. So the closer it gets to the sun, potentially uh, much bigger. The tail could get much, much bigger. And we're gonna talk about that in an upcoming video, just how big that tail could possibly uh, get. Uh, just an amazing event set to occur here on the, the 8th of uh, April next month. Um, this is the, the video from the United Kingdom that was sent in of the mysterious creature in the sky, and then here's the, or in the tree, and then here's the, the spooky humanoid-like creature that was spotted down in Sydney, Australia. I'll post both of those videos in the description box here in just a moment. 31 days, 16 hours away from the, the Great American Eclipse. Actually, it's the, the, probably the greatest eclipse of a generation. This is going to be potentially a, an incredible day. Talked about forever. Once it unfolds, uh, you're going to have a, the comet that we just saw enter the field of view next to the sun during the eclipse. We're going to see Jupiter in the sky, Venus in the sky, and possibly Mercury. You can't make this stuff up. Here's a look at the comet. 
photo here taken uh, out of Slovakia on March 5th uh, by Horolek. Check this out. There it is. There's the Andromeda Galaxy. This would be in the northwestern sky, and there's the comet. How about that? Beautiful. I mean, absolutely beautiful photo. Here's another beautiful photo. Look at how long that tail is. It's inbound for the rendezvous on April 8th, guys. Here it is. I've been following this thing for many months, and it's right on course. It's getting closer and closer each day. There it is. 12P Pons Brooks. This is over at the NASA JPL. This is the path it's going to take and uh, should be visible during the eclipse on April 8th of 2024. Just an incredible sight. And this uh, again, this thing can only get bigger. And the waves that you see here in the tail, um, from what I understand, that is a reaction to solar wind. When you see indentations in the tail like that, it's reacting to solar wind, maybe a solar flare like that one there. Actually, that was a, a CME. There haven't really been any solar flares to speak of recently, at least nothing you know in the M-class range. It's been quiet for the last few days looking at the... The Soho Lasco, uh, this is the so I'm sorry, the goes X-ray flux. Where this is the Soho Lasco C3 right here, and you saw probably a filament eruption because there have been no solar flares here recently. This is the Earth-facing side of the sun for the most part, all quiet. These are very small uh, sunspots in active regions that really can't produce a whole lot. Maybe a C flare. The the Schumann resonance, that's what we're looking at here. It's been busy this week, but the last 48 hours have been pretty quiet. There's an absence of data these last two days up here. That means it's been quiet. Down here, the bright red signatures, it was off the charts five days ago. Literally off the charts. The energy was so strong. Looking at the Yellowstone supervolcano caldera, a uh, little bit of activity here in the last 24 hours. You can see some earthquake activity over there at Denny Creek, and that's about the only location that shows any type of earthquake activity. So... For the most part, all quiet at the supervolcano Caldera. I wanted to share this uh, model of the eclipse sent in by my friend Nelson Jenks out of Greensboro, North Carolina. This is the shadow that's going to be cast on the Earth during the total solar eclipse on April 8th of 2024. Get a load of this. The, Nelson sent this in to me today. And there's the shadow. That would be the, the path of totality. Right there, if you're in that dark area, temperature's going to change on April 8th. It's going to get a little cooler. It's going to get, for the most part, not quite, but almost dark. And that's the path of the eclipse. And Nelson, thank you. I really appreciate that. That's super cool, man. You did a good job. Thanks for sharing. That's awesome. That's what the eclipse would look like from space. That's the shadow that's going to be cast on the Earth during the eclipse that's going to take place on April 8th of 2024. So thanks again, Nelson. Really appreciate it. Once again, guys, you'll find the links down below in the description box. Uh, if you want to check out these humanoid uh, creatures that were caught on video, you can see the, the full length videos once again down below in the description box. All right, guys, uh, the voice is better it's uh, better today it's much better today than it was yesterday uh but i'm gonna have to uh call this video right now because the voice is starting to uh give out just a little bit so i don't want to push it too hard but it is better than it was yesterday all right guys that's all i got for today thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there